Ah! Welcome to Paint of Thrones Episode 9. This week we review Game of Bros Season 7 Episode 6, Beyond the Wall. Be prepared for the ultimate bro down. This week's episode started with the Suicide Squad, aka the Magnificent Seven, aka the Expendables, aka, AKA Bro Squad. Bro I mean, Squad, Guy yeah. Love. You can call them whatever the fuck you want. They, this whole little camaraderie bit all throughout the episode, it was just great shit. Uh, there was a great lot people. of amazing banter in this episode. Uh, my favorite line was from Tormund when he said, Walking is good, fighting is better, but fucking is the best. <laughs> so, Jake, what was your favorite uh, banter of this scene? Well, in the beginning, I really thought it was it was uh, indifferent of Tormund to, to remind Jon Snow of Mance Raider's pride and kind of, you know, second guess what Mance Raider did. Really? You know, that was really wise of him to inform him about Mance Raider's bad decisions. I wouldn't even say it was a bad decision. I would just say that he knows that Jon cares about life more than most people do. Mm -hmm. So you don't make the same mistake that he did. And that's the big thesis here. I mean, everything's come down to it's the living versus the dead. I mean, they, they, they spelled that out a few co a couple times regardless. Are you writing a college paper on this? Yes. Because you said it's your thesis. Thesis, yeah. thesis is a fucking word. <laughs> Fuck you. The whole episode was a ton of banter back and forth. We kept seeing different people paired off, having little conversations like 20 times over. They were all great. How about uh, John trying to give Jor the Explorer his uh, sword back? It's a powerful scene. But I like how he admitted that he uh, took the bear head off and put a uh, wolf on. Alright, so we finally broke away from Bro Squad up in the north. Uh, where, where'd he go? Winterfell? Uh, to the Ho Squad. Yeah, you Bro Squad to Ho Squad. Our Man, you know, I've defended Sansa so much this season. I thought she kind of really turned things around. That she was going to start playing Littlefinger, not uh, keep being manipulated by her. But she's been... Kind of a bitch so far. <laughs> she's working away to be cunty sometimes. She, she's Cersei's definitely getting come there. Oh well, yeah, that's, I don't think there's any dethroning her yeah. there. But no, I'm not really crazy about this storyline between Arya and Sansa. To be honest with you. Oh, you hate fucking wildlings? No, I hate gingers. Hounds freaking hilarious this episode. God damn. You want to suck my dick, don't you, Tormund? Dick. Cock. <laughs> I think it's they both can relate to each other because they're both like, you know. They just Barbarian fought their way fuckers. through everything, <laughs> and they just, they, it's been a long journey for both of them, and, and they're just one of the, they're, they're just some real ass dudes. If it hadn't been for that scene, Torrin would be dead later. That was foreshadowing uh, that the Hound was going to respect they each other, and then they, then he saved him later. Yep. Was, was Alpha's pretty. like when you fuck with each other. Mm -hmm. Just one more little bit. Hound and the Torment. Let's see how they clash against each other. I was hoping the Hound would have said, like, uh, Brienne killed me. <laughs> I would have just scraped that. What was he saying? Like, uh, like, oh, I got a girl waiting back. Blonde hair, blue eyes, tall as you. She look at you like you, like she's going to cut your liver up. Oh, you fucking do know her, yeah. <laughs> Brienne of Tarth, I do know that cunt. <laughs> He didn't just, say the C word. He said the C word like six times. He said crack. it a bunch of times. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm I talking think we, about Brienne I think you guys said the C word but... like 20 times in this video. Yeah, I did more. But I'm wearing a fuck ISIS shirt on, so I think I can curse in this video. <laughs> America. Fuck, fuck yeah. ISIS. So the next scene, we're back with Daenerys, and she's talking with Tyrion. And in this scene, it's pretty much summed up as she proves she's a typical woman and says she doesn't want to fuck John because he's too small, a.k.a. he's not six foot four. And she's saying it to fucking Tyrion, too. Oh, yeah, too Littlefinger acts like Sansa's boyfriend and her father at the same damn time. That's because he's old enough to be her father and he's trying to be her boyfriend. I mean, that's not a surprise. That's just what a douchebag he is. He's like the, uh... He's like a 40-year-old that was in Saved by the Bell and was trying to hook up with all the... It was like a... a <laughs> trying to hook up with all the like, high schoolers right now. He's like Matthew McConaughey in Days and Confused. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> it was a pretty messed up scene, though, the whole him, uh... I mean, it's getting really obvious he's just trying to turn her against our... So they finally caught, caught a fucking white, uh, one of the whites. I mean... I don't know, I had a weird feeling they were gonna go through this whole damn mission and not actually catch one. Like, they were gonna go beyond the wall, fuck shit up for a bit and have to come back empty-handed, and that was just gonna be... That's where the plot goes, that, okay, they don't have anything to bring Cersei. You can't eat your meat if you don't have your pudding! Is that? That's the wall, pink cord. <laughs> okay then. Uh, Gendry, Gendry, I always say it wrong, ran, ran away too. They, they, they didn't run away, they told him straight up. Like, uh, you know, they, they called no, him a fucking good zombie. Because he's mean, the yeah. fastest, without his hammer. 
I honestly think the hound just wanted to play around with his fucking hammer. He heard it like, no, 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 give me that, give me that. You're, you're faster with that, it go. And then, what, what was he, what was he fighting with before that? I mean, was it just a sword or whatever? He was fighting with a sword. But a then long sword. the rest of the freaking episode, you never saw him bring a sword back out again. He's just fighting with that hammer. I think he just wanted to fight with Genji's fucking hammer. You got like, handed to Jorah fighting with. I mean, they, they were dragon glass daggers, but dude's fighting thousand white walkers with yeah, two fucking we didn't, daggers. We didn't, we didn't mention that earlier. He's the one. And that he killed, killed the, the bear, bear too. Yeah, yeah. Jorah's yeah. MVP yeah. has to be. That's a, that was a big question. Was that we, yeah. we we didn't know for a fact that the obsidian dragon glass, whatever the fuck, kills the zombies mm -hmm. and not just the white walkers, but. I guess we know that now. I mean, come on. I know uh, Jake said we said cut a lot, but I actually quoted uh, the Hound in this uh, this scene. He said, "Every Lord I've ever met has been a cunt." He said that he says cunt as as he was looking at the Night King. <laughs> that was funny. That yeah, was great. Then uh, <laughs> they sent Gendry away to uh, send a raven to Daenerys. So that little, Deus, that little Deus Ex Machina right there. It, 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 it made me giggle a little bit watching Gendry run and... Well, there's still fucking snow everywhere. So when he's running, he's basically just like shuffling as fast as he can into the snow. So we finally hit the fucking climactic battle, whatever. Uh, they're sitting in a rock in the middle of nowhere and zombies attacking from every corner. I mean, it seems like a freaking Call of Duty mod or whatever, but... What was the best thing about being on the rock, though? Yeah. I've seen Star Wars Episode Three. They had the high ground. They had the high ground. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the high ground. You knew they were going to win at that point. Yeah, they had the high ground. I heard I. Uh, I know this episode was leaked online, so I heard this episode was a game changer. So I thought the whole group was going to die, and then somehow the key players are going to come back to life. So I was like scared all episode. This is where Thoros died, right? Before the big final battle. Yeah. Just kind of froze to death from his wounds and all that shit. Once the uh, the letter got out, too, I knew uh, the dragon was going to save him. What about when the hound threw a rock at, at the, oh. the White Walkers? <laughs> or the White's chin? That was so funny. <laughs> Dumb fucking cunt. <laughs> yep, another one. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Told you there's a lot of cunts. There's a lot of cunts in that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're second rock, and oh, hey, look. The dead are coming. Break, we're coming. <laughs> In the end, though, I mean, it doesn't even matter. Their big Deus Ex Machina comes. Arya sh or bleh, Daenerys shows up on her dragons. We Did get our big final fucking scene. She finally learned how to move with the freaking uh, the groups. I mean, that whole last battle, she just plowed through straight in the oh. center when everyone was lined up. How about the dragon dying? I think that was the game changer you heard about. Oh, freaking game changer! Blah 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 blah. Holy frick! One of the dragons died. In like you know that. Well, what's the uh, the ice dragon gonna spit ice? Yep. So that dragon, Viserys. Viserys. Viserys is gonna be a walker. Dragon. It is. It is obviously pretty important that that's the one that died though, because well, we're not gonna have three dragon riders now. I mean, there's one of those big fan theories, and beyond you that, might have a dragon rider. It's gonna be a dead dragon rider. Maybe, but beyond that. Well, who's the other one that's alive? Do you remember his name? Rosaris or something? It was after his brother Rhaegar, so something close to Rhaegar. John's dad. Mm. Yeah. So John can still ride his uh, the dragon named after his dad, and the one named after her country brother. Oh, 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 there's another cut. That one's dead. Holy shit! I mean, I was sitting there wondering, like, are they gonna bring the dragon back? And I mean, they they do. Hey, you know, we're way past spoilers at this point, but. I wasn't sure they could do that. The dragons are freaking living fire. Can the White Walkers bring back fire embodiment or whatever? I... Can we all open our eyes really, really widely and go close to the camera? We don't have blue eyes. We're not walkers. Don't be scared. How about Sansa sneaking into Arya's shit and uh, finding all those faces? She's trying to be all sneaky like Arya. She can't be sneaky like Arya is. She was there waiting for her. The big question there was, I mean, they, they really made you think Arya was just going to kill her there. I didn't think it was coming. We didn't even talk about Jon Snow made it back. Yeah, Danny yeah. was looking. Danny was looking with Jorah, and she's like a couple more minutes. Benjamin Stark saved him, man. Oh, yeah, yeah little Legend? flaming yeah, sensor of uh, you know plus two wisdom or whatever the fuck. I don't know what that. I hell thought that they were was. just gonna forget about Benjamin. I, I didn't think he was gonna be in it again. Yeah, he just randomly shows up and starts beating up dead dudes. <laughs> I always hate that in shows though when they're like, "Oh, leave me," blah blah. You know, just jump on the fucking horse. You both make it back. <laughs>
the big episode for Deus Ex Machina, though. I mean, I mean, as much as I love the episode, Danny showing up in just the nick of time to save him, uh, Benjamin showing up in just the nick of time to save John, mm. random red shirts to die when you need someone to die. I mean, it was just. Who was your MVP of this episode? Wait, wait, what about Eunuch MVP? Um, I didn't see Varus, I didn't see Grey Worm, I didn't see, uh... What about the zombies? There were a lot of zombies with no dicks. I didn't see their, I didn't see them with their pants off. And the one zombie was wearing fucking Timberlands, dude. <laughs> yeah, the one that was like shuffling Yeah, the one that walking through the ice. I'm like, come on, where do you get Tim's at? Like, in fucking, uh, Westeros. Anyway, Absolutely. Jake, who's your MVP for the episode? Daenerys, I guess, for rescuing them. It was big. Yeah, it's such, you know, Nick she's on fire time. this year. Dragon fire burning up the dead. Kev? The Hound, you cunts. I'm gonna have to go with the Hound also. I mean, this was a this was another great episode where it's really hard to pick an MVP. Uh, who's but, your LVPs? We'll start with you, Pat. Man, I'm not even sure. Uh, I'm gonna go with Littlefinger. Random cheating grin, but that's all he ever did was just you know show up out of nowhere and say, "Oh, you know, bad." My LVPs have to be the Whites, like they. <laughs> the White Walkers. They were just like... Wait, wait, the Whites or the White Walkers? The the Wits or the Whites, whatever they call them. I think Whites, because you... Are you talking about like a Black Lives Matter and all the Whites? All the zombies. You know, Jake, I'm going to back you up there a little bit. They attacked a whole fucking army <laughs> on the four fucking or seven <laughs> fucking guys. And they didn't kill a single... Well, they, they killed what? One red shirt? Come on. My LVP is Sansa. I, I started to hate her. I'm starting to hate her. No, 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 no. Yo, do you guys, do you guys still think uh, Jake thinks you're on Greyjoy is the one that kills Cersei? Jake, first person. <laughs> is Euron gonna be the Valon car? All right, so. I'm telling you, like, those fields that they run through in battles, it just reminds me of, like, the opening of the Teletubby scene where, the, the like, the babies and and, and the son and Poe and Dipsy are like, ah, yay! Yeah, Jake was right. This show does bring me back to my childhood. It reminds me of the Ninja Turtles, though. Like, I'm just waiting for Tormund the Hound, uh, uh, Jon Snow, and Jorah to just get a pizza. Like, Jon Snow's like Leonardo. He's, like, the one who leads. Uh, Jorah's, like, the one who, uh, fucks machines. Uh, the Hound's the party dude, and Tormund is also the party dude. Totally Ninja Turtles. Pizza, pizza.